Check, check, Hi check. everyone, Christine G huh. here, touching base, Some program where them have no reach. You, my lovely subscribers. Nothing classic, it classic. How to road them a chat it say. Your program well classic. People can't wait for go watch it, yeah. Your thing classic, it classic. Your style MC cosmetic, yeah. Your thing classic, it classic. But all them a do them can't tap it, yeah. Cho, tap in the street, yeah. Hi everyone, it's Christine G here, checking in, touching base with you, my wonderful subscribers. It's 2024. Can you believe it? Another year under our belts, guys. Another year to start anew. Happy New Year to each and every one of you out there. This is the perfect and opportune time to create this video that I'm doing because I wanted to reach out to each and every one of you, keep you in the loop, let you know what's been happening and uh, what I have planned for the upcoming year. 2023 was quite a challenging year for me. I first must admit that. To be honest, I was unable to post any content the latter part of last year on my YouTube channel and I know that's a big no-no you don't want to lose your audience and in the spirit of transparency I thought I had to come and share exactly what's going on so the truth is 2023 was a big year for me I worked as a physical therapist I opened a physical therapy practice that I'm trying to get up and running off the ground um, I'm working on the YouTube channel, which is like my baby, which I really enjoy doing. Um, I, of course, have to deal with life things, you know, home. Home and taking care of myself, my family, life stuff, cooking, cleaning, shopping, all that other stuff. I'm telling you, it's just a lot on the plate. I was definitely overwhelmed and burnt out and I literally had to take a step back because for me there is no shame in stopping reassessing refreshing reviewing and then you know going back at it again picking up where I left off that's what I'm preaching that's what I'm about in the process of me reassessing you know what was going on why was I so burnt out why am I so tired I realized that I was multitasking and with multitasking comes prioritization and organization you know you have several things that you're working on a lot of wood in the fire so to speak you have to literally put task in categories and then generate a checklist to get things done, whether it's on a daily basis or a weekly basis. You know, you have to systematically get this thing functioning right. Guess what was absent from my list 100% of the time? Or guess what was at the bottom of my list 95 to 100% of the time? My self-care needs. So I found that's where I faltered, you know, that's why I was burnt out. For one, skipping meals. I wasn't having breakfast. I would run all day without drinking water or drinking minimal amounts of water because of the nature of my job. I drive a lot. The third thing was there was no organized exercise. And even if there was, it was far and few and in between. And then the big one, I never asked for any help. I don't know why it took me so long to do so. Instead of asking for help or saying, I am tired, this is too much, we tend not to want to be perceived as being weak. So we tend to push through and push through and push through the pain. But in the long run, guys, it's not doing us any good. You know, there is, we're of no benefit to anyone around us if we're not at our optimal uh, or peak functioning. So here is what I want you to do. 
choose yourself first this 2024 and beyond so you can be the best version of you for everyone who's around you. Use whatever technique, whatever method, do whatever it takes to optimize that best version of you, whether it be meditating, whether it be yoga, I don't know, quiet time, maybe decluttering the, your environment. What? There are tons of information out there on self-help. Uh, I'm currently working on what works for me and I want you to do the same for you. And here's what I'm asking. I'm always looking for ideas. Comment below what you are currently doing on a daily basis to support, maintain, protect, prioritize your self-care and wellness. I'm really looking forward to that. 2024 will be magical. Yes, I'm claiming it. I'm putting that out there in the universe. I will be doing vlogs locally and abroad, which is something new for me. Most importantly, I'll be sharing ways on how I've been leveling up on maximizing my self-care, my self-love process. And to be honest, I will be your healthy distraction, so to speak. I'm aiming to educate, inspire, entertain, or simply just make you smile. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the content I presented today. To all my trusted subscribers, I love and appreciate you. If this is your first time here, welcome to my space where you could see my world through my lens. For now, that is it until we meet again on another video. Take care.